So I was looking for an easy way to make video slideshows. Well, it's actually not for me. It's from my mom. Uh, she does not use computer very well. So I need something really easy. And I think this is the stupidest one I can find uh, that does the job. So I'll show you here. Photo film strip, right? And this is the interface. We're going to make a new project. So click on this one. Call it uh, whatever you want. So I'll call it YouTube, whatever. Aspect ratio, you have 16 by 9 for widescreen. The other one is just a square box, right? 4 by 3 standard. I'm going to go widescreen here. And you can actually do the total length if you want to do the length. Uh, this thing is very weird, okay? Uh, you can only do one audio file. Um, and then you know you find your audio track that you want to use. Now when you import your audio track here, uh, I'll use that as the length. So let's say you have a file or a song that's like three minutes. You don't want to use like a lot of images within that three minutes. Um, you know, otherwise it'll not look uh, very well when you're doing your slideshows. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're using audio track. Uh, but for this one, let me disable it here. And let's click OK. And uh, if you want to uh, import it, there's two ways. So one is clicking this plus button here, and you know you find your images in here, and then you open it. The other way is the drag and drop way, which I think my mom will do. So let me show you how to do that here. All right. So you find your images, and you just you know drag and drop into this black part here. And that's how you import your images here. Now, what I usually do, <clears throat> or what I did, is that I just render it after I import it. You don't have to do any of this stuff, and it'll come out looking professional. You know, you don't have to do anything. Uh, you just render it now, and it'll look professional. But they do have some options if you want to play around with this. Okay. Um, so obviously, you can switch, you know, the position of the images. Right, the order that it will be display, just dragging and dropping it. Um, what's the, what's the other thing you can do here? Okay, so you can actually rotate this if you want to rotate it, but not necessary. Uh, some effects you can do. Well, this one you can do uh, black and white if you want to do that. Let's do that though. Other one is what's it called? Sepai what's sepai tone? I don't know what that. Kind of like grayscale or something. I'm not sure, uh, but we'll undo that, All right? And they have transitions, whether it be fade or roll. So, uh, what else is here? The duration is seven seconds. Transition time will be one second. And <clears throat> if you know what keyframes are, well, they don't let you do keyframes, but if you know the concept of that, then uh, this is your starting keyframe on your uh, left and this is uh, you know on your right this is your end keyframe okay so uh, what else do they have here random motion here uh, let's do another one here random so this is how it look like this is where it'll start and by the end it will be right here focus on uh, I guess just her face only uh, that's how it works. Otherwise, if you want to do this manually yourself, you can actually resize this and say, I want to start this one here. So when you're doing your slideshow, this will start here, and then by the end, it'll look uh, on her face, right? Uh, so that's how it is. So your left side is your starting point, uh, and uh, your right side is the ending point. Uh, when it'll end it by seven seconds, the duration, okay? Subtitles. Um, it's kind of weird they, they they use subtitles you can't actually place your text like you know in different parts of the images it can only be at the bottom that, that's just how it is and the subtitles they actually save it in an SRT file okay um, which I don't really recommend for slideshows you know I recommend that for like you know movies or whatever but the slideshows no uh, so you can actually do I would say a hard code sub in uh, in the video itself, which that's what I'll recommend. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But this is where you type in your you know your subtitles here. 
So we'll call this girl or whatever. And this one call it car. Right. And continue on if you want to do different subtitles for each uh image. But it's really not necessary. Um after that uh you know when you when you think you're done then you can go ahead and render it. Now you can still have an option of doing audio files if you know later on you change your mind. So to do that you go to file, go to properties, and let's say you change your mind, you say I wanted to enable the audio again. And this is where you do it, okay? But again we're not gonna do it though. So. Uh if you want to you can uh, enable it again. But after that we say we're done and we're gonna render it now so we're gonna go and render it and here they have different options okay so VCD, SVCD, DVD, medium, HD and full HD so this is just the quality size of how you know the file might be huge or uh, poor quality or whatever the type here they give you uh, two type so NTSC and PAL um, if you live in the United States, you use NTSC. If you live in European, you use PAL, and I think even Japan they use that, right? And so that's it. And the format of save it to, uh, whether you have uh, MPEG 4, MPEG 2, uh, if you want shitty quality, you use um, the flash video, or you think that you're gonna upload it, and you don't have a you know a fast connection, then you might use flash. Okay, that's basically all they got. And oh yeah, for the the subtitles, if you want to hard code it, then you go into the options here, and make sure what it says render subtitles here. Set it to true, because by default it's at uh, false here. Okay, just change it, you know, to true. Other things you can do is the bit rate. If you want to change the bit rate. I don't really care, okay, but that's all you gotta do in there. And then you hit start, it'll take um probably quite a bit, depending on your computer, right? And by the end, I'll show you a sample of what mine looks like when I did it. Let me show you here. So this was the one that I did. I didn't do nothing, I just imported and I uh maybe wrote one or two captions but that's about it I didn't do any you know any changes really just click and then done uh, so here it is here's the video and this is what it looked like the final product you see there's subtitles that I did and this one's hard coded it's not SRT files this thing is embedded into the video itself and the length of it was um, depends on my uh, track that I was using and only had a, a few images, that's why it's taking longer than uh, usual. But you see that it does come out nicely. Um, you know, the effects without me doing nothing, and that's um, that's a good thing because I don't really don't want to do you know these stupid effects uh, using like a movie editor or whatever. So yeah, this program is really nice uh, for doing these type of things. Uh, you know for your slideshows and it looks professional in my opinion uh, so that's it for this one if you want to use uh, or you want to create a video slideshow I say use this program it's, it's like the, the easiest one I've used so far uh, that'll be it for this one